Hey you, Stud Doogie here. It is a new year and I'm bringing a new game to the channel. This is Zombie Army 4. But we're going to try to make it interesting. So instead of just doing a regular playthrough, I'm going to be playing it in hard mode with four player difficulty. Part of the reason for doing that is that the more you play the game, the more you level up your weapons, the more powerful you become. So um, the game would become easier over time. So one way to keep it interesting and challenging is to play it uh, with uh, multiple, at a, like a co-op, but you're doing it solo. So, um, so I'm kind of showing off my gear here. I'm also trying to make a decision about how I'm going to approach this content because I haven't completed the game, nor have I kind of reached max level. So for example, with my shotgun, I haven't master worked it. And so I'm trying to make a decision uh, in that last bit there about what uh, upgrade option to use and if I should be using it to complete the content, focus on completing the content or do both and try to get my masterwork. So I chose getting the masterwork option. And um, so we're going to get into it here. I'm going to let the story mode stuff play and then I'll pick it up. The Nazi war machine was on its last legs, hammered on all sides by Allied forces. After so much sacrifice, so much horror, it seemed the world would wake at last from its nightmare. Instead, Hitler woke the dead. The Allies didn't stand a chance. Hitler's trolls were tireless, numberless, merciless. They came from everywhere. Nowhere was safe. But we formed a resistance and we fought on despite the odds. The dead war, we called it. After months of brutal losses, a volunteer squad turned the tide. They cast Hitler into another world, cutting the head from the snake. And yet still the war rages. Even with no leader and no purpose, the dead roam the earth in swarms a million strong. And thus, well, we're taking the world back, one bullet at a time. So the story in this game is serviceable. You know, it's not like the greatest thing ever. So I will be talking over stuff, uh, which is one of the reasons I have the subtitles on. So if you are trying to follow the story, you can just read the subtitles. But it's not crucially important or particularly like thrilling. But it, like I said, it's serviceable. So... Um, Again, I'm going to be playing solo, but on four player enemy, enemy spawn. So the, the, the number of players affects two things. It affects how many enemies spawn. It also affects the health of bosses. Um, the other thing is I've got it on uh, hard mode. So the enemies are tougher, they have more health. And uh, I don't know why I'm having a hard time thinking something to talk about. Basically, we have one objective, which is to complete it with gold, with a gold rating. So that's why we're gonna try to maximize our combo. And this red filter that you're seeing is one of the uh, upgrade options. Basically, whenever you land a critical hit, it gives you more health. So I took a beat there to shoot that bird to extend my timer so I have enough time to come over here and shoot these guys. Now, this very first mission is very short. Therefore, 
in order to get a goal ranking, we do want to come over here and kill these dudes, but we want to try to extend our combo meter between the first engagement and this engagement. Uh, which is why I ran past all the enemies and just turn around and shoot them. This way, I wouldn't have to fight too much with the timer. So that's about the the best you're going to get. The other thing is, I use the um, the empty lung thing to shoot certain enemies, not because I need to, but because again, I am trying to complete some of the perks and some of the stickers and collectibles because when you do that you get um, upgrade kits so you can upgrade all your gear all right. Open up. so in this first part there's really not a lot to do you know you just trigger some doors opening and stuff Like, I was trying to figure out if it was possible to carry your combo from the very beginning all the way through to the end. And, you know, though they have the animals around, that one part in the beginning where you have to wait for the door to be open, I think that makes it impossible to extend your combo all the way through here that you have to do all of this. Because here's your next enemy engagement. I love this dude. The voice acting in this is really, really campy, like ch really cheesy, but sometimes, you know, cheesy is hilarious. So look at the spelling for how he pronounced this thing. And you see that it's just, it's not just the way he talks. It's actually written that way. Like instead of saying husks, he says they got usks. I don't know why that cracks me up, but it does. So one of the differences between Zombie Army 4 and the ones that came before it is that when you played in hard mode, you did not get the bullet drop indicator. Uh, but in this one, you didn't have to trade off. So it's like with each shot you take, you can decide whether you want to utilize it um, by doing empty lung or not. So I'm utilizing it as much as possible because... Um, one of the perks that I have requires that I do like uh, 200 headshots while using empty lungs from over 50 meters away. So I'm using the, sh the crap out of it here. The bullet cam in 4 is just so good. So good. I think 4 is really good because of... One, two, and three. I don't know. It's like, like I appreciate it more because of one, two, and three. It's a thing of beauty. They really improved the technology for doing that between the previous games and this one. So another interesting thing is that this game is built on the Sniper Elite engine. So, one was based on Sniper Elite 2. Uh, two was also based on Sniper Elite 2. I don't know what 3 was based on. Maybe 2 also. Possibly 3. But 4 is based on Sniper Elite 4. And what's fascinating to me is that having played this game, I have zero desire to play the regular Sniper Elite. I so much prefer shooting zombies than shooting people. So... Once again, I'm trying to max out my score here by keeping that combo meter up. And that's really the secret to getting uh, a gold rating. And you do want to get a gold rating because you get more XP the higher score you have. And the more XP you have, the faster you level up. And the faster you level up, the more upgrade kits you get. And upgrade kits are the only um, currency available to um, upgrade your guns. Now, most of the guns I'm using are close to being upgraded, except for my pistol. But there are other guns I want to try out, and being able to upgrade them uh, is kind of important. So, I missed this guy. Well, I didn't miss the shot, but I missed him in identifying targets, and so my combo meter ended kind of prematurely. I should have had him included in that. So, this is almost the end of this first episode. Um... 
yeah, I am. I'm enjoying this game a lot, and I'm enjoying the challenge of trying to beat it on four-player difficulty solo. Because you can't just sit there and just plink, 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 plink with your sniper rifle. You kind of have to be more strategic. So it's it's kind of interesting. So this is the end of it. Um, we knocked it out of park, got the gold. Thank you for watching the first episode. And uh, I will catch you in the next one later.